Okay, it's party time. Here we are on sldair.com, and we're going to take a peek. We're going to look around and see the mistakes this is making, which are costing it in sales and leads, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So one thing it's doing really right is the wordage here is pretty decent. All right. However, it's a little hard to see with uh, the background. So the photos should be tinted a bit, but um, I would like to see this enlarged so that um, this is more visible because this information is key. So this text is super important. It's um, We just need to get this enlarged so this is made clear when uh, the person is scanning through. Logo is fine. It's a tad big for the navigation. I would shrink it down a bit. Uh, navigation looks decent. One thing I don't see is um, some trust logo, some trust elements. Uh, where is that one website? Nuclear. Great example is this right here. Now, obviously, these blokes <laughs> don't have Forbes and Fortune and all that stuff that they can put. But what they could put, well, let's think for a moment they could put their past clients which might not be as illustrious as this they could also put any certifications that they have right any licenses they could also put memberships of associations or they could also put partnerships so there's a few options they're all acceptable they don't have to be amazing like this they just need to be real and they need to be uh, from groups and companies that are not them. So basically third party companies. Um, it just gives that recognition, you know, people see, oh, they, uh, they, they exist outside of themselves. They're recognized by others. So that helps to build trust and trust is key. People don't do business with you unless they trust you. So it really helps to feature that info straight up. I wouldn't necessarily put it up at the top like these guys are because this is um, this is a sales page, right? You see here, it's like an endless page. But what I would do is I would take this bar and I would put the same thing and I would just put it right here, okay? Just right over here and then put some logos there and then you're good to go. Another thing that we're missing, which is key, is a call to action, a nice button, all right, with a contrasting color, preferably an accent color. They should use red maybe. I mean, they should use yellow like their logo here. Put a nice call to action button which says well it depends on what they're doing here probably requesting a free consult or something or requesting some sort of um, estimate right for their service so they need to put that call to action here that's crucial they should also have their phone number up here that's also a huge point all right for your conversions you want to have your phone number up on the top navigation. You also want the navigation fixed so that when you scroll, it goes with you. Good example of that is over at Laugh With Paint. Laugh With Paint. So we scroll here and the navigation goes with us, right? It's fixed. This is very good. So the prospect always knows where they are and can always get back to where they need to be. All right, so we don't have that here. That's a big that's a big one. So let's get that navigation literally um, fixed and fixed and then get the phone number put in. Let's get a call to action put right here. Let's enlarge this. Let's get some trust logos thrown in and then we will have a very nice initial screen. We call this initial screen here above the fold right here. All right. Prime real estate. It's got to be a complete package of info. So we've got that sorted out. Next thing we'll just scroll down a tad. And then we have some sort of a slogan here. This is a, a, a wasted, this is, this is a unnecessary, this is a waste. What I would put would be um, a little hello from the owner. Think of it, you know, try to make it as human as possible. You know, how does a human communication occur? All right, you should try to mirror that with your websites. The initial screen above the fold has its own rules, right? Because you only have three seconds to make them stay on the website. So when someone hits this first screen here above the fold, it's all about capturing their attention, 
because you only have three seconds, and making sure they know they're on the right website. So that's why we put this stuff really big and bold and put those logos and all that goodness. And then the next thing is, well, we need to introduce ourselves. So a little hello from the owner is a good move. Come on down to this one. We have that section right here, a little hello, all right, from one of the managers or the owner, whoever it is, it should be someone from your company, and um, put their name ideally. That way you can build some rapport. So that's super important because that's one thing, if you start looking at websites that nobody is really doing, very few are doing that, putting the human element of actually putting um, the owner or a manager there to greet the person and introduce. Um, it just, it goes a long way. People do business with people. And if your websites don't have those people elements, then you're not going to build that, that, uh, that trust and that relationship and that warmth that you could with an actual person there. So let's get a nice intro section here. And then what we have here is a little, a bit of about us. They could actually just use this text. They could just do it like this, all right? That's the text, put the photo. My name is my name is John, you know, whatever. And then that could be this section redone. I wouldn't bother putting contact us because, you know, it doesn't really fit yet. Because uh, we have one call to action up here. It's a little premature just to throw in a contact us. I'd remove that. Then here we have some goodness. We have kind of selling points-ish. This is, this is good, um, but it should have a heading, right? Like what are, what are they talking about here? Cause you can put, you can put totally different data in each one of these. For instance, like this could be, um, this could be an objection that they're handling. We have flexible schedules. Don't worry. We can always fit around your schedule, right? That might be an objection. And then, um, this might be one of their unique aspects to the company right so this it might be a little disorganized i really recommend organizing the data all right so these are attributes these are qualities of the company um right oops and you can have different sections for different purposes right this one is the process right This is, um, you know, what happens if you don't use the service, right? So these could be fears, right? These could be objection handlings. So what I'm getting at is that should be a little more organized and then you should put a heading above each one, in other words. So if, if you're handling objections, then you should put, you know, these are some things you might be worried about. Or if you are talking about the benefits of your service, then you should put, Here's why our service is better than others, or here's why you should choose our service. So let's get a heading over there just so it's a little more clear. Anyway, so this is pretty good. Um, industries we serve, oops. Although the photos are a little confusing, like I don't know if these are past projects or not. I think, um, I think this section is so is so deep that people don't realize that it's just about industries we serve. So they should just put a you know smaller photos like a little circle for each one, and then they can put all this data in one row and not have it have it so deep that you kind of lose track of where you're at. And then we have services, which is great. And then it ends like that. Then we have a form that's kind of off to the side. So there's quite a bit missing as far as the flow here, right? It has what most websites typically have, you know, a little about us, our services, who we work, you know, who, uh, who our audience is. So it has some of the basics, but it's missing quite a few points. It doesn't have an objections area, like it touches possibly on some of them up here but 
could be organized quite a bit better. And it doesn't really talk about all the problems that it solves for the prospect who would need, you know, this kind of a service with the drone um, imagery and video and so on. So we need some more data on here about, you know, what, why, why is someone needing this, right? And what it's gonna handle for them. So that needs to be very prominently placed. In other words, talking about the unmet need and then how you handle everything with each point. All right, and some other points that it could use. Also, it's just a little, it's very uh, generic looking. That's a whole other topic, the design. I don't think we'll get much into that on this video, but the design is really generic, especially once you get down here. It just looks like it's kind of drag and drop, like a Wix website. This is a WordPress website, but the design really isn't working for it. It looks really generic, and generic websites do not build confidence or interest because they look like everybody else. Right? It needs to be unique and it needs to look like it's um, not something that was just whipped together on Wix.com. So that's a separate topic. Other points, um, I don't see any testimonials or reviews, which is really surprising. Most websites do that. They don't have any, which is shocking. So that's a huge point for building trust. They don't have it on their homepage, nor do they have it in their inside pages. So you gotta get some social proof in here with some testimonials. Another section that's missing is some statistics of their production. For instance, how many years in business, how many um, projects they've worked on, how many videos they've shot, how many clients they've served, right? some actual numbers, some hard numbers to show what they have done. It's really impactful when you do that. For instance, over here at Laugh a Pint, we've got, you know, real numbers, the number of students, number of classes, number of venues. And that goes a long way in making yourself more real. Okay, so that's very important. You want to put some real numbers. Uh, if you have to guess, you can guess, but they should be, you know, very educated guesses. So that section is missing and that's very important. And um, I also don't really see much about, you know, the, the company or the work they've done. Like for instance, if, if these are shots they have done, they're not saying that. So I'm not seeing their work. You should definitely feature some of your work on the homepage, whether it's your products or your services, just so the prospect can see it. Cause you should make the homepage in a complete experience that shows everything the person needs to know. You don't make the homepage, you know, like some shortened experience. It needs to be very in-depth. It needs to have every piece of info. That way, if, if it's the only page someone ever visited, they got the full treatment. You know, they didn't have to go and click into all your buttons up here and visit all the pages to get the treatment. They're on the homepage. They're going to get everything, the works. So you've got to put some of the work that you've done, some photos, um, got to have those testimonials. That's very important. Also, I would like to see, you know, their facility, if they have an office, if they have staff, I don't see any of that. So they're not as real to me. Whereas if you've got, you know, a picture of your, of your crew and your work, right? Before and after over here, some projects, this is all real, right? One of the managers or owner, it's helping to to make it more real and the more real the better so that's one key thing this website is missing is the is the reality factor like i'm sure these these photos are all photos they've done but that's not quite cutting it they need to double down on that so that is a key point everything we went over if uh implemented would significantly significantly increase the conversion rate of visits into phone calls or form submissions and eventually sales so this is a great example of a website that looks totally fine you know it looks like every other website but once we dig in and actually look at it piece by piece we see it's missing half of what it should have so there you go if you have a website and you'd like me to take a look, I would love to do that. No worries, for free, limited time only. 
So just go ahead and drop it in the comments. Give me the URL of the website and we'll do a video. I'll show you what's good and what's bad so you can have a strategy so you can move forward in 2021 with knowing what you need to do so you can get some more sales from your traffic. So don't be shy. Go ahead and drop that in the comments and I will hook you up. All right. Until then, thank you very much and happy new year.